I was a lecturer in linguistics. When I arrived, I knew nothing about speech and language therapy at all, but over the years, I learned a great deal. So in a way, the department launched my career in the area of clinical linguistics. I'm now an emeritus professor of clinical linguistics at Sheffield University, so it launched me and sent me off where I, where I have been for a number of years now. I took up a temporary one year's lectureship in clinical linguistics and phonetics, teaching speech and language therapy students. Before that, I'd had no knowledge of speech and language therapy. I was a, a, a plain and simple linguist. I became so interested, however, in the area that at the end of my one year's contract, I became a student on the speech and language therapy course with students I had been teaching. So I finished my lectureship on the 31st of August and I started being a student on the 1st of September. The students were quite nice to me considering. I, I was in Leeds in the mid-1970s. I, I qualified with the diploma from the College of Speech Therapists in 1978. Uh, and at the time, that was a qualification which was granted by the College of Speech Therapists and it was examined externally. Linguistics did not exist. I knew nothing about linguistics. We did do phonetics. I then was launched into a career that was all about language and how language works and how children and learn language and how adults lose language. And I had to really pull my socks up and begin to learn what language and linguistics was all about. If you're interested in speech and language, you can't help but be fascinated in what happens when speech and language goes wrong. And that was my driving interest. The converse is true that if you're a speech and language therapist, you couldn't possibly understand what goes wrong when people have speech language communication disorders unless you had a thorough grounding in linguistics and phonetics, which help you to both describe and explain what's going on when a human being sounds, they have unusual communication. I probably had more fun here uh, than I ever have since in terms of working in an academic department. And uh, I hope the fun has continued as well. So uh, I have many happy memories of the other staff that worked here and uh, all of the students as well. I'm sure a lot of them have been launched on the world and uh, are in all kinds of interesting and important professional capacities uh, all over the country and outside the country as well.